James Reese from Overtime Rolex and joined you today with Nicholas Maximoff. Um, how's things doing, mate? You doing all right? I'm doing all right, yeah. How are you? Yeah, all good, thanks. Um, obviously, you're, you're all ready for your, your latest fight on Sunday, uh, Submission Underground 17, yeah? Uh, Aaron Teagues, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, how, how's things going for that, mate? How's the, how's the training going for it? Good, everything's good. Good, just normal, same stuff, just trying to get through it now, you know, same old. Yeah, and um, I, I suppose you're glad to be able to, to pull this fight off because um, obviously you was due to be um, fighting at LFA 88. Um, was that, that, that was this week, wasn't it? Yeah, that was last week. I had, two, I had a few guys pull out but yeah, last week. Yeah, and uh, obviously the one pulled out was it the yeah. night before? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we had a bit of a connection problem there, mate. Um, everything still good? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all good. Uh, yeah, I think it was a bit of a Wi-Fi issue there, mate. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah, I just turned it off. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what's no, the question? No worries at all. Um, I, yeah, wasn't it the night before that your opponent pulled out as well before um, 88, yeah? Yeah, it was uh, one guy, two. I think both of them pulled out actually two days before. Yeah, so it was pretty pretty rough, pretty horrible, but it's the game, you know? Yeah, it's obviously a bit disappointing if you all, uh, all the hard work going into it to have someone pull out last minute this um obviously really important for you to be able to get this fight now on Sunday. Um, yeah. How, how do you sort of see this fight going on Sunday? How do, how do you see you matching up with your opponent? Hopefully another submission. I've uh, competed against him before and uh, I, I've submitted him before, so I, I'd love to do that again. Nothing's going to change. Yeah, okay. definitely looking forward to that one. Um, what I'd like to do then, if it's all right with you, um, just give give everyone a bit of a brief backstory on yourself, mate. Um, tell everyone about the your, your journey in into MMA, I suppose, and how it all began. Um, mostly just started from like me trying to learn self defense. I I walked into a martial arts gym, martial arts studio when I was about like eleven years old, I think something like that, and it just kind of took off since then. You know, just transferred from you know karate to wrestling to jiu-jitsu to boxing to this and everything you know so just eventually fell for the sport and you know here i am now but yeah started about like 10 years ago nine and a half ten years ago yeah so what was it that pulled you to bjj um you know uh just fighting in general kind of did i actually really liked it the most and something i fell in love with and i still love it to this day so it's something i'm grateful i can do and um yeah it's just something about it you know it's kind of just it's like a, a, a weird game you know it's just it seems like it's everlasting so yeah I, I love it yeah definitely and um obviously you train at nick diaz academy um what's it like being part of that team um because obviously it's it's probably as much of a family as any sort of training group you see out there really yeah it's um it's hard man you gotta only the tough survive you know you see a lot of people come in and come out um it's a difficult place to just stay there consistently and it's hard training every day but um i think it's the best team in the world and I don't think anyone compares to them <clears throat> in any way, shape, or form. So it's a, it's really an honor to just keep on staying there and doing the thing. But um, yeah, it's tough, man. It's it's fun, but it's tough. Yeah, no doubt. Um, what's what sort of intensity do do you have to bring to those sort of sessions? Because obviously, I know I know I've seen a couple of interviews with you before, and you you've said like, I mean, it's you're constantly sweating, it's an all-day thing, it's not, you know, you, you don't just go in and go back out, but so what sort of intensity levels do you have to bring to that? Yeah, man, when you're recovering, you got to recover, and when you're going, you got to go. There's never, like, a short, small, easy cruise. It's always just, like, everyone wants to win in there, so it's very just go, 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 
you want to always try to one up everybody just because everyone's in such good shape. Everyone's this or that. You're you're constantly in this competition with yourself. You know, not even the people in there because you know your family, but you just always want to be better and get better, and you just want to. It's so hard just to like beat people in there because everyone wants to beat you. You know, it's really difficult. On uh, um, just you can't go in there even just. Like, if you take a week off training, you know, you just can't really just go in there. You know, you got to kind of slow your way in there. So, it's, uh, I mean, everyone in there just wants to kill. So, it's a, it's a good environment, though. It's hard. Yeah, for sure. Um, how, how long have you been training there for? On and off. Uh, I was on and off for about, like, four years. And then in the last two years, I've been there really consistently. Just a consistent time, but... Before that, because of school, college, everything, I was there on and off for about four years. Yeah, and I mean, it's obviously paying off for you. Um, mm-hmm. I know I've seen a couple of things in the past where, like, obviously Nate speaks really highly of yourself. Um, so um, clearly you're doing something right there, mate. Yeah, I'm trying to, man. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to. <laughs> um, so we, we'll have a look into, obviously, your MMA record. You four know as a pro. Um, six and zero as an amateur, and obviously two for two at Submission Underground. Um, phenomenal record. Uh, like the heavyweight division, four I think. I got four. I'm four and two at Submission Underground. They just haven't count. I didn't. I've been competing there for four years. They just didn't count my records before on the topology or five. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, what? Where do you sort of see yourself more? Um, where are you striving to get at more? Is it more the MMA side of things, or are you happy to continue competing at uh, SUG? Uh, fighting, man. It, it, you just got to fight. Right now, you could make a career off grappling, but it's uh, a little more difficult. So I'd rather just keep on fighting, doing that, and just, uh, you know, I like it and I enjoy it a lot. And um, that's something I just want to continue doing, you know. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know I've seen something, I think it was back last year, that they, um, was you looking at or was you hit up to um, go for Bellator? I think it was, wasn't there? There was, there was some sort of talk going on between now. Yeah, there was, but it just didn't work out. They kind of fired me a few guys and this and that. And they just, not an organization I like to fight for. Um, the way then, you know, we had AJ just fight, the way the announcers talk about you know, there's fighters and stuff like that. It's just something I'm not really with. Um, I think they screwed my homie Chris the last few times, too. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just not an organization I'm looking to fight for. You know, just not my cup of tea. Yeah, completely. Um, and obviously, you've expressed your interest um, with the UFC. Um, I think we not you made yourself available back in May, I believe it was, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, have we had any talk? Has there been any sort of official talks with that at all, or is it still early days? Yeah, I mean, I think I just need that one more five and zero would be perfect. I think I need one more, and that's it. But the problem is just getting that one more. You know, it's, it seems like it's impossible, but uh, you know that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, at the moment, the contender series is like a, a bit of a big thing with the UFC. Is that something that would interest you going to? Um, that's what I'm about, man. Yeah, dude, in the, in the fights have been good. So it's something I'm really looking forward to doing, you know, if I can do it. But, you know, who knows at this time? Yeah, completely. Um, obviously, your last two fights at Submission Underground um, haven't really lasted that long, first round submissions. Um, what, tell us, what, what does it feel like to be able to um, go out there and finish them as emphatic and as early as what you've been? Yeah, it's cool, man. It's very, it's it's nice that you feel. It feels like a fight, you know, but it's not. You know, it's nice being in a cage. I feel like there's a lot of eyes, and yeah, man, it's cool. It's a good event, and it's fun competing there. So, um, it feels good, you know. It, it just hopefully can do it against uh, this Sunday. So, yeah, definitely. Um, you, you obviously fought a, a lot at light heavy. Um, I believe I've heard that you'll be willing to compete at middleweight as well. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, what, what is what is your sort of desired weight? Is it one you'd rather over the other, or are you just happy to um, bounce back and forth between the both? 
I, I would be happy to do both. I, for UFC, I'd like to go 85. But um, right now, I have no problem going 205. You know, just no point of cutting a lot of weight to for a regional scene fight. Um, so I, I'm willing to go to, you know, 185 if it's the right organization and right call. Yeah, definitely. Um, what I want to finish off with then, um, basically your ambition. Um, tell us where, where, where you're looking to be, where do you want to be sort of five years down the line? Um, what's your plans going forward and um, what's the dream then, I suppose? Yeah, man, it's hopefully to be best in the world. You know, I think that's not your ultimate goal in the sport. It's kind of probably not the right sport for you. You know, it, you'll end up hurt or just not in a good place. So I think obviously the goal is to be the best in the world and try to just do the best I can do and make the most money and get out. <laughs> yeah, the the big money fights is what you're looking for, mate, yeah. Yeah, of course, everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I appreciate the honesty with our mate. You know, a lot of people go the other way around it, but, you know, you're saying it as it is. I mean, the, obviously with fight, any such a short career, um, Money obviously has a big part of that. Yeah, yeah. People focus too much on just fighting and like cowboy, and he doesn't get paid. You know what he thinks he should be, and it's like all these guys want to take these fights and this and that for like chump, you know, chump change. So it's like people got to stop doing that. You know, if you guys, if everyone wants to get paid, people just got to stop like accepting fights like that. You know, but one day they'll learn. You know. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, well, look, Nicholas, I really appreciate um, you spending some of your time today. Um, good luck on Sunday. I hope it goes the way you're looking for, mate. And um, I, I hope you get a call soon to um, either contender or straight into the UFC. I hope it really works out for you, mate. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time, Nicholas. Have a good one.